So the next question now, we we it's like if the drone, just like what we did in the, the second question we did, if the drone really fly up, if it flies at forty kilometers, at forty kilometers per hour, if the drone flies at forty kilometers per hour on a bearing of one forty, this on a bearing of one forty is not. So if it flies and the bearing of 140, look at it, it will pass 90. 140, so look at the drone flying at a speed, flying at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. 40 kilometers per hour. At the speed of 40 kilometers per hour. And at a bearing of 140, 140 degrees. Flies at the bearing of 140 degrees at a speed of 40 kilometers and the wind blows. At a at the velocity of 10 kilometers per hour at a bearing of 60 degrees, bearing of 60 degrees, somewhere here. Look at the wind blowing at a bearing of 60 degrees at a speed at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. At a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. 10 kilometers per hour. So to get the to get the to get the the resultant to get the resultant that's simple you can do this to get the resultant from here so here this is 40 kilometers per hour this is so this can as well be uh, 10 kilometers per hour. Or I can do it the other way around. So if this is 40, if this is here, this is 140. This, this is 140. This, if this is 40, that, that means this is 60. Then this will remain a hundred. This will remain a hundred. This is if 140, 140 minus 60 will give 80. So if this is 80, that means here should be 100. Or here, here where should be 100 degrees. So R, the, the, the resultant, so it becomes R squared is equal to, because this is 100, it's not 90. So we can use the Pythagoras theorem, we use the cosine rule. We have 40 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 40 times 20 uh, times 10, sorry, times 10 cos the angle, which is 100 degrees. So if we work out this, we have that R squared is, is equal to 1838.92. We have the R squared is about 1838. 1838. 1838.92. If you work out this, that means R. R then is equal to the square root. R is equal to the square root of 1838.92. Then R is equal to 42.88 kilometers per hour. R is equal to 42.88 kilometers per hour. Simple. A simple, simple solution. If I want to get the track, look at it here. Depending on where I want to get the track on, I just get the angle. The angle you made with this, or the angle you made with this, or the angle you made with any of the any of the direction. I can get the angle you made with this. Just this is 40. 40 over sine this. 40 over sine this is equal to 40 yeah, over sine this is equal to 10. R over 100 over sine 100. I get the the I get the angle we made with that. 
So that is I get the, the track. And that is it. Oh God. So the question, the second question says, if the drone is flying at if the drone is flying at 40 kilometers per hour on a bearing of 140 degrees and the wind blows at 10 kilometers per hour at a bearing of 60 degrees, determine the primal speed of the drone. And that's what is on the board. That's what is it's just to draw, get the bearing, the bearing of this of the wind, the bearing of the of the drone, and now use vectorial summation. Vectorial summation of parallelogram or rect rectangle in this case parallelogram and solve the 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 uh, uh, resultant using the cosine rule. Thank you very much.